Hi, I'm Andrea Metcalf, and welcome to HEAT 3.0. We do Pilates reformer classes in many levels, and what I'd like to do today is explain our Pilates reformers, because although it has a carriage and springs and a front and back end, every Pilates reformer is a little bit different. Now, the first thing you want to do when you get to your reformer is look that there's a spring secure, and they're down in the carriage here. There's yellow, red, blue, green, and black. Yellow's the lightest, then blue, then green, red, and black is the heaviest spring. As you take classes, your instructor will cue you on what, what spring to take on or to take off, because more springs in Pilates doesn't necessarily mean more intensity. You'll also have two handles. These handles will rest on your shoulder straps or off to the side. The thing you want to check when you first walk in is that the handles are even. If one handle's a little further down than the other, you'll use your cleat by lifting it up and making them even and locking it back down. Really important that your straps are even. The next thing you want to check is that the headrest is down. Now for most of our classes, the headrest will always stay low, but in some cases, your instructor may cue you to lift the headrest. You'll also see that there's a foot bar. Now the foot bar will stay in place. It's also used when we drop in our jump boards right in front of it. And lastly, there's a foot strap here. Another tool we may use during the class to raise or lower you is the box. Now the bed moves right to left. Right now I'm gonna take all the springs off and anytime you approach the reformer, if there are no springs on it, always add a spring into it. Lift it up and secure the spring over the silver dot. You'll see that you step onto the solid part or the base and then into the carriage for any movement patterns because otherwise the bed will move. These are just a few simple things you'll need to know when looking at the Pilates Reformer. Springs, a moving carriage, a solid base, flat foot bar, and of course the pulleys and shoulder straps. Now let's get started for our classes.